The public shows a keen interest in discussions around traditional gender roles, faith, family values, and social order. It is only in the past few years that I have grown in courage to speak more boldly and directly, because as I mentioned earlier, I have leaned into my vocation as a husband and father, and as a man. To the gentlemen here today, part of what plagues our society is this lie that has been told to you that men are not necessary in the home or in our communities. As men, we set the tone of the culture, and when that is absent, disorder, dysfunction, and chaos set in. This absence of men in the home is what plays a large role in the violence we see all around the nation. Other countries do not have nearly the same absentee father rates as we find here in the U.S., and a correlation could be made in their drastically lower violence rates as well. Be unapologetic in your masculinity, fighting against the cultural emasculation of men. Do hard things. Never settle for what is easy. You might have a talent that you don't necessarily enjoy, but if it glorifies God, maybe you should lean into that over something that you might think suits you better. I speak from experience as an introvert who now finds myself as an amateur public speaker and an entrepreneur, something I never thought I'd be when I received my industrial engineering degree. The road ahead is bright. Things are changing. Society is shifting. And people, young and old, are embracing tradition. Not only has it been my vocation that has helped me and those closest to me, but not surprising to many of you should be my outspoken embrace of the traditional Latin Mass. I've been very vocal in my love and devotion to the TLM and its necessity for our lives. But what I think gets misunderstood is that people who attend the TLM do so out of pride or preference. I can speak to my own experience, but for most people I have come across within these communities, this simply is not true. I do not attend the TLM because I think I am better than others or for the smells and bells or even for the love of Latin. I attend the TLM because I believe just as the God of the Old Testament was pretty particular in how he wanted to be worshiped, the same holds true for us today. It is through the TLM that I encountered order and began to pursue it in my own life. Harrison Butker's comments underscore these themes, addressing criticisms of gender roles the significance of faith, and cultural shifts. He champions traditional masculinity, the presence of men in the household, and the role of women as homemakers. These conservative values emphasize family structure, traditional gender roles, and religious faith as the bedrock of a stable society. Analyzing the motivation behind Butker's speech reveals how modern cultural movements such as the Democratic Party's support for LGBTQ rights and progressive gender ideologies, create friction for those with traditional beliefs. Butker's appeal for men to embrace these values can be seen as a reaction to the perceived erosion of tradition, aiming to restore order and identity. The societal impact of Butker's speech alongside the NFL's response highlights its resonance with certain segments of the population who feel alienated by contemporary cultural changes. However, such rhetoric also has the potential to deepen cultural divides and exacerbate social polarization. This discussion will balance ethical considerations with analysis, exploring what it means to advocate for traditional gender roles in today's diverse society. The comparison will consider the risks of alienation, for though not sorios, mamachiwari, traditional roles against the benefits of strong family units and faith-based communities.